Well, CAT scans are important tools, but the test can make some people claustrophobic, others might be getting too much radiation. So now there's a new technology to look at sinus problems and nasal congestion without the discomfort and added radiation. But only one doctor in southeast Wisconsin has the mini cat. That's Dr. Mother Candula with Advanced Ear, Nose, and Throat Specialists. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thanks hey. for having me. Well, yeah, so the, the a cat machine in general is very important to have you know, to use as a diagnostic tool. Sure. And now you have a mini cat. Tell right. us about it. Yeah, I mean, the cat scans in general are real. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's they're very important. And they've gotten a lot of bad press here recently because of um, sort of the worry about increased dosage of radiation, which is a good concern. Mm -hmm. uh, the problem is, is we need tests to figure out what's going on, not just right. for me, but for, for medicine in general. And so we, 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 we still want to have the test done. We want to minimize the radiation. And what the mini cat does is does both of those things for the areas that I deal with. Mm -hmm. And this mini cat is right in your office yep. and when you talk about size because it's a mini cat mm -hmm. how big are you talking about uh, it's about takes the actual cat scanner takes about three by three that okay. shows oh, a yeah. picture so that's an actual normal size lady not a giant or anything so, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so, so she's that's that's you know that's an appropriate that, that's what it looks like so literally you sit down in the machine and it goes around you you don't have to lay down it's not claustrophobic at all um, it is what it is it's it's a beautiful um, very uh, efficient piece of machine machinery. yeah so reducing the claustrophobia is a nice thing for a yep. lot of people but as well it also is a low dose scanner right yep, so absolutely. it can reduce some of the radiation for people as well quite a bit so it's about one tenth the dose of radiation for a normal CT scanner, which is huge. So, mm -hmm. I mean, ten, you can do 10 of these mini cat, mini -cat scans uh, would equal one normal CT scan, which is is, a, is what we want to do. I mean, what we want is the information. We want to get that information. We want to minimize radiation. And if you can if you can combine those two things, that's great. And, th mm -hmm. and this is great. And are you still getting the the information that you need, the same amount mm -hmm. of information, exactly. even though it's a lower dose? Yep. It's exactly the same amount of information, which is nice. I mean, this was designed specifically for the nose and the sinus and it shows us those areas in, in crystal clarity. Um, the higher radiation, you know, the, the bigger machines have to have to deliver high doses of radiation because they're meant for the whole body. Uh, this shows us, these are actual images for our scanner. You know, you don't have to go in detail with them, but that shows us everything I want to know. And in fact, for my patients, if I had one piece of information that would, you know, that 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 that's it. That's all I could have. It would be a it would be a CAT scan. Mm. Uh, it tells me the anatomy about what's going on. Tells me about inflammation. Tells me about you know really what the story is behind the scenes. Um, mm -hmm. Because a lot of times that's the key. That's that's a key with figuring out what to do with uh, with each particular individual. So very important. What is yep. the advantage to having this right in your office as opposed to someone having to go to a hospital to get a CT scan? It, it's convenient. I mean, it basically it's convenient. It's easy. We've got the information right there, so when somebody comes mm -hmm. in to have a scan or a scan done, um, we're looking at it in literally in a, in a minute on my tablet PC in in their exam room. So it's not like t with the tradi traditional method, if somebody has to go to the hospital, uh, pay a separate copay, go lay on the scanner. It takes you know an hour or two to get done. They have to wait till they burn a CD. They got to remember to bring that CD to see mm -hmm. their doctor, you know, so forth and so on. So it's a real drawn out process. With this, it's it's immediate. I mean, it literally the scan takes 10 to 20 seconds to do. We've got the information right there. The information is there always so if I if I have to repeat a scan on somebody uh, in the future we can always compare it back to what what the original scan looked like um, you know it's beautiful it gives me the you know all the information that I would ever want mm -hmm. and what you said is that it, it, it this scan has a tenth of the radiation mm -hmm. of a full-size mm -hmm. CAT scan, right? Yep. Because I think a lot of people wonder, well, what is a safe amount if you're sure. looking at radiation from a scan? Yeah, and, and the honest answer is nobody really knows. I mean, so when the, some, of the, some of the information that's come out in the press here recently has about, been about repeated scans and people needing multiple scans. Um, at the end of the day, we want to minimize that scan, I mean, minimize the radiation to get the same information. And so, yeah, I mean, it, it's it's a tenth is a tenth. So when, when we do a mini CAT scan, it's about the same radiation as a, as a chest X-ray or or if you go to the dentist and get dental films done, that's the same you know quantity of radiation, which is which is low. I mean, you, you know, mm -hmm. if you don't want to do, you don't want to have a scan unless you need it. But if you need it, you want to minimize the radiation and still be able to get the same uh, information. Mm -hmm. And and is the cost the exact same as it would be under a regular insurance, even though it's in office? It, it's covered under insurance. It tends mm -hmm. to be cheaper, so nice. you know that's a lot well, of people. Well, it's not a separate appointment. Exactly. Too. So it's one copay, and you know the actual scan itself. You know, and that's more you know from the insurance standpoint. But from 
of what an inv individual is saying, it's 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 uh, definitely cheaper. Mm -hmm. And again, to to clarify, the mini cat is used primarily to diagnose uh, nasal congestion mm -hmm. problems or chronic sinus exactly. um, problems. So if someone has unresolved sinus issues, they want to take a clo closer look. This is the most accurate way sure. for that to be diagnosed and for you to really see what's going on. Yep, and exactly. it's only available in your office. Yep. That's true. <laughs> I think I think that'll surprise a lot of yeah. people. Yeah, I mean, we've had it for about three years, three and a huh. half years now, and you know, kind of waited for other folks to to come on board, and just hasn't happened. But uh, mm -hmm. it's it's wonderful. You know, across the nation, they've 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 got uh, many different scanners that are out there, but in the in this area, so southern Wisconsin, actually, there's only one scanner up uh, near Appleton. That's it. That's the only other other mini mm -hmm. cat scanner in the in the state. So you a know, great good. tool Sounds with convenient. I think a lot of benefits to the patient. Sure, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Here's the information for Advent so you can go have an appointment scheduled if you have unresolved sinus problems. They're located on North Mayfair Road, 414-771-6780 is the phone number, and advent.md is the website. Thanks for being here, Doctor. Thanks, Thanks for having me. Oh, it was a pleasure. Coming up on the show, an alternative.